librarians, diabolical shushers, or information superheroes. Much has been said about these elusive creatures, but the only way to truly discover the answer is to observe the wild librarian in their natural habitat, the library. Popular media tends to portray librarians as unsociable, snooty, and exclusively interested in very large old books. This is, by and large, a mischaracterization. You have likely seen a wild librarian lurking in one of their most common habitats, at your local school library or in the public library, as we see here. But there are a huge variety of wild librarians living and thriving in a wide range of habitats. Let us observe this collection of special librarians. Their habitats tend to focus on a specific subject. Here we see a corporate librarian who might manage research for a particular business. A musically inclined wild librarian may gravitate to a library specializing in music archiving. A lab or research habitat may collect a chemistry or science-minded wild librarian. A cinephile librarian may dream of working at the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences Library, which archives film scripts and movie paraphernalia, while an art-minded special librarian might gravitate more towards an art museum or gallery. Why, even some wildlife facilities collect animal enthusiast wild librarians that might aid in the care of other creatures or education. If you can think of a business or institution, chances are there is at least one wild librarian lurking within. While many wild librarians with specific focuses can and do find habitats out in the wider world, others may drift into working in academic libraries located at colleges and universities. Often these librarians hold advanced degrees in a particular subject, like law or agriculture, in addition to an advanced degree in library and information science. These academic librarians are specialists in their fields and can be part of the faculty and teach classes. Ah, we, we appear to be disturbing this academic librarian's research. Let's move along. Academic librarians are experts at connecting students, professors, and knowledge seekers with research materials and other information. If you need to know about the airspeed velocity of an unladen African swallow, then asking a wild academic librarian for help may be your best bet. One habitat of wild librarians you might be familiar with is school library. Just as academic librarians, the wild school librarians are experts at connecting students with resources and often teach classes, though they are less likely to specialize in particular topics. If your school has a library habitat, try approaching your local wild librarian with a question or a request. They are often quite friendly. Possibly the best known habitat of wild librarians is the public library. These librarians are there to assist anyone who comes into their library habitat. Here we see a wild public librarian that specializes in children's materials, having a patron find a particular book. Though that patron could have also requested some other type of item, or simply information, the public librarian would have found it. Ah, look, they're both pleased. Here we see a reference specialized public librarian in a different area of the habitat, teaching a computer course to a group of patrons. Wild public librarians often teach general technology and information classes to patrons of all ages. Another duty of all specializations in the public library subset is organizing and maintaining the tidiness of the shelf and materials. Watch as this experienced wild librarian tidies a disrupted shelf in real time, so ready to be perused by patrons. Running programming activities is one of the better known facets of the wild public librarian's daily life, and none more well known than the children's story time. Observe this wild librarian as they maintain an organized chaos, while the child patrons enjoy the novel environment of the library's habitat. Here we see another example of program activities with a different specialization, the wild teen librarian. This one has just finished arranging the public library's teen habitat to welcome in adolescent patrons. Do not be alarmed by the ferocity of these adolescents. The wild teen librarians are well trained and accustomed to the typical antics of these younglings. Indeed, these specialized librarians carefully cultivate the teen environment to make it as welcoming as possible for all adolescent patrons. Should you find yourself near a public library, we highly recommend that you explore the area dedicated to teens. The wild librarians always enjoy teen patrons appreciating the space they maintain. While we have seen many groups and specializations of the wild librarian thus far, each with their own skills and duties, there is one trait they all have in common. They connect people with information. Observe this apprentice librarian in their studies. While some library habitats do not require a specialized college degree, most require a master's degree in library science to become a professional librarian. The program, which can take an additional one to two years to complete, teaches the apprentice wild librarian what they need to know before heading out to find their own habitat. Ah, see? Now this apprentice has just earned their diploma and might now move on to a habitat or continue their education to enter a more specialized area of library science. 
Just as habitats vary wildly depending on the species of librarian, salary ranges can also be drastically different depending on the type of job, location, and institution the wild librarian lurks in. For a brand new baby librarian just out of graduate school, the East Baton Rouge Parish Public Library currently offers an entry-level salary of about $37,000 a year. Current librarian openings at the Library of Congress or within various federal departments run the range of $59,000 to $100,000 a year. As with most jobs, the more experience, education, and skills a wild librarian acquires, the more their pay will rise. Now we see an adolescent patron volunteering in a public library environment. They have been set a task by the Habitat's wild teen librarian and are likely being observed at a distance by said librarian. If you would like this adolescent patron, suspect that you belong to a librarian species, you can start honing your skills as a teen by volunteering at your local public library. Approach your local wild librarian for specific opportunities. Once you have completed 10th grade, you can actually be formally accepted into the public library's biome by applying to be a library page with the East Baton Rouge Parish Library. If you visit your local public library, it is likely you have encountered wild library pages. Here's one now, shelving books and keeping everything in order. Ah, oh, it looks as if our guide has spotted a wild teen librarian. These particular librarians specialize in communication with people your age. So, are librarians diabolical shushers? No. Wild librarians are there to serve you, and if approached carefully, will do so with a smile. If you have any questions about libraries and librarians, you can simply visit your local public library and speak with a teen librarian there. If approaching a wild librarian is too daunting at first, you can always check out their website at www.ebrpl.com or call the main library teen department at 231-3770.